Okay, so I wanted to take a quick minute to show you guys how this mock-up works. So this is how um, it would open up for you. I just opened the exact file that I, I have attached to the product. Um, and this is the color changing pillow. So over here on the layers panel, um, I've got the background locked, so you don't mess with that. Um, but there's a folder for design and there's a folder for the sequin color. So the design is your usual smart object. Uh, you could double click on the design box and it opens up a new uh, window. And then you could hide my little uh, placeholder design. And what I usually do is um, go up to file and you go place linked and then go grab whatever design you want. Um, I'm gonna just go grab an existing pillow Let's do this one. I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, I guess I could do this on a sequin pillow, but I sell this one on a normal pillowcase, but this is just an easy one. Um, size it so it's a little bit smaller because a smart object is meant to go all the way out to the edges in case you're doing like a full um, design. Then you hit the little check mark and you hit save. And when you go back to the main file, it's sitting right on there for you and it already has all the filters and clipping paths so that the sequins can be shown through it. If you look up really close, you could still see the sequins. Um, so that's for the design and the design part's pretty simple. Um, I've got lots of colors available in, in this um, for these sequin pillows where you could just put in with the smart object your design. But the special thing about this one is I went through and grabbed every single sequin and I made um, basically a color changing version here. And this confuses some people, so I wanted to show you. I preloaded some colors that are um, kind of popular colors um, and you just hide or um, unhide the color you want it to be and it changes it to that color to kind of match what it could look like, rose gold, gold, um, silver, red. I've got a lot of the popular colors here, but if you have a pillow that I didn't photograph or I didn't make a smart layer for, um, I did copy one and I just wrote um, hide or unhide or change. Um, if you double click on it, it'll open up your color picker and you can go through and change it however you need to, to get the color that you want. So like, let's say you've got like a deep purple. I didn't do a deep purple. I've, I haven't seen that, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Um, but it ends up being lighter just due to the, the color that I have the sequins underneath. Um, but that can be adjusted. But see, if I go to this light purple, that looks pretty good to me for just like a true purple sequin. So you could change it to whatever color you need. And um, the cool thing about that is when it's all in one file like this, you can drop um, your design in and then just toggle between the different colors and just hit save, 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 save. So for your product, if you want to show what it, a particular design will look in every color that you offer, it makes it really quick to just pull in the design once and then hide this layer, unhide this layer, hide this layer, unhide this layer, get the colors all that you carry or offer and you could show them in individual product photos. Okay, this is actually super cute on the sequin pillow and I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I might have to put this up as a listing. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show you real quick how simple it is to just switch out these colors. Um, just make sure that if you start playing with the colors um, and you want to save it for future use to duplicate the layer and rename it and just keep doing new ones so you don't have to recreate pink and rose gold and green and all that again. But if you messed it up, um, maybe it would be smart to do like a file save as and save the original. Um, so if you go making changes and then you, you've screwed up a layer or a blending um, option somewhere that you can go back to the original one because it is kind of easy to do if you're in here messing around and then 
you know, you, you click something you didn't mean to. But anyway, this is uh, my newest mock-up that I have up, and I just wanted to explain a little bit how it worked. Um, if you don't have Photoshop and you're not comfortable with it, um, I have just the individual photos available on Etsy. Um, everything else that had a smart object or all these color changing ones and bundles, I had to put in my design bundle shop because Etsy has very small file size limitations and these Photoshop files were too big. And so I couldn't upload it. So rather than doing something weird with a Dropbox like links link, I just put them all up on design bundles. Uh, let me know if you have any issues with it or if there's a color I'm missing that I need to program in so everybody has it. Thank you.